it spins this way. So the safe way, the right way, is to feed into the direction that's spinning. If you go the other way first, it can grab and throw the part. And for your first cut, you don't want to go too deep. See how that's hitting the blade before the bearing? That gap up there. If you go too high like that, it's trying to take off too much material and it'll try grabbing even more and try throwing it. And make sure you have a flat, smooth surface. This is um, just cabinet face material from a friend's cabinet shop. Just like, uh, I think, three quarter inch MDF with the laminate on top. And then make sure you get all the shavings and stuff off so you don't get bumps in your cut. And then lube your bit up. And when you're feeding it, use two hands and push down real hard and in firm. And make your cut. And wear safety glasses. Okay, so going against the direction of feed like I showed you, doesn't leave the, it's the safest way to do it, but it doesn't leave the nicest finish. See how it brings back material into the cut and gives you these little rough spots. So what I do for a final finish is I go, I go the wrong way with the direction that it's spinning. And like I said, that's dangerous because if it grabs, it can throw the part and take a glove in or a finger. I always wear gloves, just better grip and do whatever you think safe. But for my last pass, I push really hard and go with the way it's spinning. So watch how this will give a real clean cut. See how it cleaned up most of those little rough spots? And then this vertical style cut bit works really good for, like say if you were hole sawing parts out and you wanted to clean up this edge on the inside or the outside or whatever you cut. It takes the most of it off really quick. And you can touch it up, final touch it up later. And it's better for accuracy if you have a small hole like this. The reason I have a big hole over here on this second one is because sometimes I do woodwork too, so I need a bigger, taller bit in there. And then all I've, I've used these same ones for the past probably 10 or 15 years. All they are is rigid laminate trimmers from Home Depot. Um, so if you were, if you're wanting to manually do big parts, you probably want a router for more mass and stability so it wouldn't chatter around as much. But for what I do, this was work really great. And then I just wired both of them into one wire so you only have to plug in one plug in the wall and then just only run one at a time, obviously. And the bits last a really long time, as long as you keep them lubed. I use WD-40, it works great. Every once in a while you'll need to replace the bearing, but I think I've probably only wore out one or two bits in all those years. These flutes are starting to get a little bit wore out on top. It's kind of hard to see without looking through the camera though, zoomed in. And they're just, they're just woodworking bits, not anything special or expensive. So go this way first, and then if you want a really nice finish, go this way, but be really careful.